Henry, I'm not going to let you score just so that you can be player of the match. Why not? You're Moody Margaret's goalkeeper. It'll be easy. Yeah, but how can I be player of the match if I let you score? Don't be stupid. We all know who the best player is going to be. Have you decided who you're going to take with you, Margaret? Nope. I'll decide later. See? We haven't got a chance. But if I let you score, it'll be cheating. Come along, children. Take your positions. Just remember rule number seven of the Purple Hand Gang. Members must always obey the Lord High Excellent Majesty. That's me. But... And if I do win, I'll obviously return the favour. You mean you'll take me? You see, Ralph, it's not so hard, is it? Right, children. Everyone ready? Graceful. Football is supposed to be a team sport, not a pack of hooligans with no respect for the rules. Oh, let's try again, shall we? Oh! Henry! <laughs> <sighs> Why didn't you pass the ball to me? Uh, have you decided who you're taking to the game yet? All right, I'll take you! Team, one nil. Ha! We'll see about that. Corinda, over here! Uh, to my Henry! No way! Kay, we're on the same side. See any bird? Bird? Why didn't you try to save it? Uh, I don't know. Two one to Margaret's team. One minute to go. It's so easy. having me going to work with him. Loads better than having Stinky Peter. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be really, really fine. Henry, not that one! Oh! This is not a good start, Henry. Nowhere near good. You've already been horrid and we're not even at my desk yet. But, Dad, we're being cut out by firefighters! This is great! An office is a place where people come to work, not to muck about. I want perfect behaviour. My boss is very strict, so don't let me down, eh? Dad, you can count on me. Oh! Ow! You're late. Bad start. Bob knows best and late people aren't great people. Sorry, Bob, sir. I, um, hit the alarm button by accident. Dad just told a fib. Hmm. This is just like school. Henry, this is Bob, my boss. And you have to do everything he tells you. And this is Bill, his son. And you have to do what I say, too. Welcome to my brush and paste empire, young Henry. We aim to have a foaming brush in every mouth in the land. So... Take this day by the scruff of the neck, little laddie. Listen and learn, and one day you too could take orders from me. 
I'll try my best, sir, Bob, sir. Uh, I promise to listen and learn. I like you, young Henry. I wish more young men wanted to be like me. Tell you what, you can be my son's partner for the day. Whoa. I expect my boy Bill to take toothpaste into the future. Watch him like a hawk, Henry. My boy is the future. You heard Bob, Sir Henry. Do everything he says and everything Bill says. Yes, sir, Bob, sir. Meeting in the boardroom in five. All hands on deck. First task, boys, make the tea, serve the tea. And remember, I could be watching you. Remember, Henry, do everything they say. Oh, we have to make all these. Are you kidding? I got better things to do than listen to Dad give orders. Great! So what will we do instead? You don't get it, do you? You make the tea, I watch you. No way! If you don't do what I say, my dad will fire your dad. So get making, Bucket Brain. Good. Now I order you to put this stuff in the tea. Remember, do everything he says. Well, if that's an order. Tell me. Tell you what? Who you're in love with. I told you I'm not in love with anyone. Love sought is good, but given unsought is better. What's that meant to mean? Search me. Come on, Henry, race you to lunch. Watch where you're going, slug snot. You watch where you're going, beetle brain. Yeah, yeah, whatever. You're in love with that phone. You are. I said you're in love with your phone. What's well, not to love? It tells me everything I need to know. Oh, yeah? Like what? Like the time, like my dad's phone number and the number of the Boodle Poodle parlour. Like whether I'm happy or sad or just plain moody. It even tells me what the weather's like. It's raining. Yeah, I know it's raining. My phone tells me so. Hello, my name is Margaret Millicent Mordita Smythe and I love me just the way I am. There's that word again. Some of these then, Henry. When I ask for more chips, I mean I would like more chips. Sometimes I think she should be called Margaret the Magnificent. Oh, you are joking. I don't know. Well, I... Yes, yes, I am joking, Henry. Good, cos if I thought for one minute... No, Henry, don't think for one minute. <laughs> now, there's a difference between loving something and being in love with someone. Yes, there is. Take carrots, for example. I love carrots, but I'm not in love with them. Oh, yeah. I love being horrid. Mum, Henry's putting his beans on his fork. Mum, Henry's lifting up his fork. Mum, Henry's looking at me. It's so easy being me. I'm horrid, This'll take forever. 
unless I can get somebody to help me. So who told you there was treasure buried here? Everyone knows that, don't they, Bert? I don't know. We're going to be rich. <laughs> I'm going to buy every chocolate bar in the world. I want my own gym. Hey, Bert, found anything? I don't know. Henry, there's something down here. I'm going to buy a yacht, too. It's one of these time capsules. Huh? There's nothing in it. No treasure? No, nothing. Come on, let's keep digging. I bet there never was any treasure. How come these are all empty? I don't know. I'm going home. Thanks for nothing, Henry. They were all empty. I want my bunny. Where can he be? Maybe he's been kidnapped by aliens. I want bunny back. Henry. <laughs> You've got to find Bunny or else... I've got to find out what happened to those time capsules! Eureka! That's it! Yes! I, Henry, have a plan! This is a disgrace! If any of you know anything about the identity of these hooligans, please come forward! I bet they were boys! Miss? Henry, no! Miss, we mustn't give in to these hooligans. Henry? Uh, no, quite. We should bury another capsule to show them we won't be beaten. Excellent idea, Henry. Uh, come on, children. What's your game? Henry... Have a gold star. Oh, thank you. Maybe the children of the future would like it. How unusually unselfish, Henry. Well done. Right, let's get this capsule buried. Yes. Al, you're good at digging. Shh. Uh, I mean, you probably are. Now we wait. It's so easy. To your plant. It's eaten Margaret and now it's going to eat you. My plant? <laughs> you are funny, Henry. Plants don't eat people. I must be dreaming. Ah, oh, feeding time. <laughs> I'm off to watch TV. You are, little blondy wanty. Lovely, nutritious food. What a silly Billy. Eating people. I blame the television programmes he watches. But you've just been fed. Eat radioactive fist, miscreant. The taste the full force of my radioactive bile. Monster! Yeah! Get him, you smart! Woohoo! Oh, <laughs> 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 
Unsuspecting, as the evil horror creeps up behind him, closer, and closer, and closer. Look behind you, Mutant Max! Behind you! Could this be the end of Mutant Max? Oh, that's stupid! There's no way Max wouldn't have seen that! Stop it, all you like, Mutant Max! You'll never escape! <laughs> It's not my stomach. Ah! What are you doing? You, you don't want to eat me. Oh, I'm your friend. I made you cool music. Remember the comics? I'm the friend. Let me be. You don't want to eat me. Oh, I'll taste horrible. And I've got smelly socks. No, oh, I don't want to be eaten. Okay. Mom? Oh, you were having a bad dream. Yeah, yeah, I was. Oh, never mind. I've bought you a little present, Henry. You did? Yes. I've bought you... Ta-da! A plant of your own. No! It's so easy being me. I'm We could get a babysitter. No, we're going out as a family. <laughs> Henry! He's got the car keys again. Henry, I'm coming in there. <laughs> Henry, no, not the toilet. He wouldn't, would he? You didn't see that, Peter. Right, let's go. I can't wait! A chance to try new things! I love food. Well, um, all except beetroot. I love food too. Well, all except squid. Oh, and Dad doesn't like tomatoes. Well, I don't like anything except whoop whoopie burgers. I'm not going! That's that! All right, Henry. Here's the deal. You come along, behave yourself, and eat everything on your plate, and I'll give you two pounds. Two pounds? Just for shoving a few mouthfuls of disgusting food in my mouth. Normally I have to do that for free. How about three pounds? Don't push it, Henry. OK, deal. What's my reward for being good? Goodness is its own reward, Peter, darling. Huh? It's very nice of Aunt Ruby to invite us to dinner at Restaurant La Poche. It won't be as good as Whopper Whoopi. They have real food. And your cousin Steve will be there too, boys. Oh, no! Not stuck up Steve! Steve's my favourite. Um, where shall I park? We park, sir, unless you happen to be the chauffeur. Darlings! Oh, Ruby! Oh, <laughs> 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 New car, Ruby? Oh, I'm not sure, darling. All our limos look the same to me. <laughs> what make is your car, Henry? Russ Bucket 2000? <laughs> Thank you, sir. Oh, look at that. Yes, isn't it fabulous? It's carved completely out of ice. I didn't think you'd be coming, Henry. I'm getting two pounds for eating everything on my plate. And 
I'm not getting anything because goodness is its own reward. Huh? Be, Be quiet, quiet, worm! It's so easy being me. I'm To our school, Your Majesty. My name is <laughs> Worm. Peter. Bow. Okay. Answer question. Walk away. Uh... When I'm king. <laughs> ah! Henry, ask me a question, please. Okay. So, little boy, why are you so smelly? <laughs> Why don't you ask her a question instead? Why? Oh. I mean, it's just the sort of thing that never happens to us. It's always other people, but now it has. Oh, I know. Mum, how many TVs has the Queen got? Yes, it isn't as exciting. Peter's going to meet the Queen. <gasps> What's all the fuss about? I bet the Queen's not making a big deal out of meeting Peter. Huh? Oh, I'd die of embarrassment if my dad put up a flagpole in front of our house, Henry. It's not a flagpole, it's just a pole. Get the Union Jack from the cellar, please, Henry. <laughs> it's a flagpole. We're going to have a proper flag-raising ceremony to celebrate Peter meeting the Queen. This is so embarrassing! Flag Henry, now! Oh, you're doing it all wrong! No, I'm not! Okay, fine. Make a fool of yourself. Well, how do they do it then? Are you sure this is how you greet the Queen? Yes! And if you get it wrong, they'll lock you up in the tower. No! And then they'll sharpen their huge axe and... Mom! Henry says I'm going to get my head chopped off! Don't be horrid, Henry. Where's my flag, Henry? Just getting it, Dad. Dad, is it true that they chop off people's heads in the tower? Yes, it is. That's why they call it the Bloody Tower. Uh. Now look what you've done! See?